Hi, welcome to Programming with Mesh. In this session, we want to create an API with JSON response and fetch it using Redux. In the previous session, we learned how to use Redux to manage a state in the app. First, I make changes to the home and login page and delete the components unrelated to this session. Now suppose we want to get a list from an API here. In order to have an API with our own response, I create an API through this site. In this section, we write the response. I have already created a JSON array. So I copy it and use it here. And clicking this button creates an API with this response. Now if I enter this address in the browser, because it was created as a get method, it will return our response. To call this API in the app, we want to use the fetch function in the Redux structure. So I go to the actions file and create a new type. I define the API address we created as a const here. And then I create the desired action. Inside it, I use the try catch block to log it if an error occurs. To create the object inside the dispatch, we use the fetch function to call the API. In the networking section of the React Native document, you can see how to use fetch, how to use as promise, and how to use as async await. Here we use the async await syntax. Put the value returned by the fetch function into a parameter called result. Enter the API URL as the first parameter of the function and in the next parameter, we enter an object of the required options. The first is the method that the API should call. The API we created works with the get method. The next item is the headers that are set on the request. For example, with this header, we set the request type to JSON type. The value that the fetch function returns contains the same response that we set for the API, so we convert it to JSON, so that we can easily extract the information from it. And here, if the correct value is not returned, there must have been an error in calling the API or from the server providing the API. We can now create the object inside the dispatch using the new type we defined and the response we got from calling the API. Import the new action type into the reducers file and create an array in the state to store the API response inside. Now here save the action value in the state array we created. In the home page we import the action. and call the cities using use selector. Now here we call the action to call the API at the beginning of entering the home page and fill the cities array online. Now create a flat list to display the array information of the cities in it.
The response array consisted of items by country and city name. So we display the information of each item in two separate texts. Well, as you can see by running the app, the list of countries and cities is taken and displayed through the API. This warning is because that the key is not defined in flat list, which we do. And if I refresh the app, this warning will no longer be displayed. Now I will define a style for this list to make it look better. Well, now it gets better. Well, here we called an API with the get method. If this method is paused, it means that we can send parameters along with the request, which we do in the body. So there we go, we learned how to fetch data from an API using Redux. So in the next video, we will talk about push notification. Now if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next session.